it's a personal connection with Jeff um, that I have that goes back to the 90s when he first moved to Indiana and we became friends in high school. When Jeff started driving for me, he was 17. But yet he had the maturity of a veteran. I mean, he, he was a proven winner even at a very young age. The great part of a youngster winning is the exuberance when he pulls into victory lane. It was pretty cool to get to go and see him compete and watch him win and beat some of the biggest names in the sport. For him to come back and win the inaugural Brickyard was probably one of the greatest dreams that he ever had. And I'm sure as he looks back on his racing career, winning the first time NASCAR ever raced at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was really a significant factor for him. To grow up in a really small community in central Indiana and then to have someone go on to such success and notoriety, that's mind blowing in and of itself and then 30 years later, I end up with a child who desperately needs the kind of help that for years Jeff was prepared to give and was giving. I remember sitting in the chair, I remember the oncologist breaking the news, and I just remember feeling like it was a death sentence. But when we started learning more about the research, the potential outcomes, and everything that's done at the hospital, and everything that's done at the hospital that gets funded directly by the foundation, uh, it just picked us up and it put us in a much more optimistic frame of mind. The funds that we've received from the Jeff Gordon Foundation have helped us to establish the Precision Genomics Program um, at Riley Hospital. Every day we are working towards generating new cures for kids with cancer. We have Riley Hospital for Children and the Jeff Gordon Foundation to thank for all of the research and the funding that goes into these life-saving techniques. It's really nice to know that we have someone like Jeff who continues to support what's going on at Riley. I think he recognized that one of the best ways that he could give back is to recognize the needs of children out there. And I'm sure that's had a lot to do with why the Jeff Gordon Children's Foundation does so much for the support and the cure of pediatric cancers.